Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about body optimization, optimizing your vehicle. This is your temple. We need to take care of it, right? So here are five simple steps to optimize your body. When you hear them, you might go like, yeah, I know that stuff. Knowing doesn't mean that you are necessarily applying it. The goal here is to establish behaviors, ways of relating to your body that really work on the long term. Okay, so here is the first very simple mindset, the first intention that you can give yourself. One hour of movement every day, five days a week, five days a week, Monday to Friday, you move your body in one way or another whether it's dancing or yoga or jogging or swimming or biking, it doesn't matter as long as you move your body. Very often you think that it has to be a certain type of exercise. It doesn't, not in the beginning. Eventually, once you have a practice that is established and you can start refreshing it, you can start optimizing that practice. But in the beginning, it's just a matter of activating energy in your body. Whether you do energy training or you do high uh, vibration, you do something which is soft, like in yoga, or you do something which is much more dynamic, like uh, climbing mountains. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter in the beginning what you do, as long as you do something. So, very often, that's the first step where you can find excuses. You go like, wow, I cannot do my yoga today because I don't have a yoga mat. Well, with some music and start dancing, uh, you know, do some, some other forms of stretches, do some power building, go to the park. There are tons of options. Second step, optimize your nutrition. Okay, I said these were five simple steps. The optimizing of your nutrition, I will do a whole recording on that. But here's the thing. If you want your body to be in a good shape, to really be in good shape, you need to think 50% training, activation of the body, 50% diet and nutrition. You have to take care of those two aspects equally. If you change your diet but don't do anything physical, something will be missing there because your body needs to be nurtured as well. On a physical level, it needs to be activated. And uh, the same, if you start working out much more but don't optimize your diet, then uh, you might bring in too many toxins, you know, lots of things that are happening in your body that are not necessarily um, receiving the nutritional value that your body needs. Okay, so those two aspects, those are the two first things to reconsider. We are sending out an intention right now, a general mind map of what it takes to stay healthy on the long term. The third thing, very simple, you need to rest, okay? Think about eight hours a day. Ideally, you go to sleep at 10 in the evening and you wake up at 6. That's a rhythm that personally I find very natural and very easy to sustain. Now, do I respect that? You know, very often I go to bed a little bit later than that. Last night there was a party. I came back here at midnight, 1 o'clock, and I wake up a little bit later in the morning. But the general idea is this, you know, eight hours rest. Tactic number four, drink. <laughs> this is such a simple one, you know. You see that right here, I'm not just drinking anything, I'm drinking some very special vital elixir. -a. Elixira Vitala. So that's something that I'm creating. It's some herbs with some ginger and lime. Delicious. It just turns your body on to a whole new level of vibration. But just water is fine, okay? Whatever you drink, as long as it's not soft drinks, something packed with, um, you know, sugars. Um, the fourth, fifth tactic is you must have fun. It must be flow, it must be something that you enjoy doing. When you move your body, if it's based on discipline, you know. For instance, if you go to the gym and you do this power, 
pumping up, training day after day, you know, two hours at the gym, and it's really based on willpower. Eventually, it requires a lot of concentration and a lot of energy to sustain the practice on the long term. So my advice to you is very simple. Have fun with it. Find the flow, find the pleasure of whatever you are activating. And it's about, in my scale, it's about 80% about fun and flow, natural expression and 20% of that about discipline. There is some discipline there. There is some willpower involved. When you wake up in the morning at six and you start doing a yoga practice, you know, it requires a little bit of discipline. You have to set up your alarm clock. You have to, you know, have a space which is adapted for that. But if it's just based on discipline, you sustain your practice probably like for a few weeks to three months. After that, you drop out. Why you drop out is because willpower is not enough to keep you going. It has to be fun. It has to be something that nurtures the, the, the pleasure um, hormones inside of you as well. Okay? So I repeat them quickly for you. One hour movement every day. Optimize your nutrition. Rest. Drink. And have fun. Life must be fun. Right? That's it for today. I wish you a fantastic day. I hope that wherever you are, you are inspired by the spirit, by the forces of the universe and the planet that may guide you in making the right choices and uh, supporting your evolution. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.